Hello, Pisces, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you so much, Pisces, for joining me. I hope you're all doing amazing. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to read for you, Pisces. So for today's Tarot Reading, the person on your mind, and what are they itching to tell you, Pisces? Let's get down, let's get down to business. Let's, let's start. Okay, the person on your mind, and what are they itching to tell you? Just a couple of things I just want to quickly say, Pisces. If you do wish to book a personal tarot reading with me, whether you have a burning question regarding love, career, or money, I am open for personal tarot readings. It is the first thing down below. Check it out. Have a look. And again, you can book with me if you want to get answers and some clarity. If, however, you prefer to learn tarot, hone in your skills, master each tarot card the meaning use your intuition our master tarot course is available now it's on sale it's 100 percent online it's also self-paced and all the content can be downloaded it is yours forever so let's begin the person on your mind what are they itching to tell you pisces what is going on let's have a look What do you need to know? Okay. All right. One more. One more. That's it. Okay. Let's split the deck. And a one and a two and a you know what to do. Behind the deck, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. What do we know about the Wheel of Fortune? Well, Wheel of Fortune is literally luck. Luck is definitely on your side. It's all about divine timing. Yeah, we have a knight here coming towards you. It's a passage of time. It is the slowest moving night, but this night proceeds with caution, logic. They're not impulsive. They're not here to play games. And they're offering new love and possibilities. Wow, this is, this is beautiful. Very nice, Pisces. Let's split the deck. What do we have, please? Three of Swords. We know with the Three of Swords, it's all about heartbreak. No one survives the Three of Swords. Third-party intrusion. It could have been someone or something. However, though, beautiful, Nine of Cups, we have the Wishes card, Wishes Coming True. Yep, also with the Five of Swords, it's super important to keep your thoughts elevated. Keep your positive thoughts elevated right now, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, what do we have? Seven of Wands, the Devil, and also the Eight of Swords. Hmm. So what do we know about the Seven of Wands? It is victory, but it's also reminding you, Pisces, to stand up for yourself. Now is not the time to back down. Now is not the time to give up and give in, I'm going to say. Fight for what you want. I'm going to actually even say there have been moments even in the past where you've had to really defend yourself, defend your ground because people have tried to challenge you. And the person on your mind, I feel that definitely it hasn't been easy. No, I do feel that even there were moments where you've had to really stick up for yourself because you were being challenged. Even with the devil, the devil can show a very, very tempting offer here, <clears throat> represented by Capricorn. And yes, it can show a very tempting offer. And the thing is, with the Eight of Swords, you're not 100% sure what to do. Remember with the Devil, it is the card of overwhelm, the card of extremes, where you may be overthinking something, overanalyzing something, but it leads you nowhere with the Eight of Swords. And you may be thinking, I'm trapped, I'm imprisoned, I cannot move forward. This is just giving you a heads up, Pisces, the mental card. Remember, you are way more than your thoughts, way more than your thoughts. If we look at the person, the Six of Swords, we do have the Magician along with the Justice card, two major arcanas and a minor. Okay, so yes, they have moved on. They've moved away from turbulent times and into calmer waters. But at the same time, we notice with the Magician and also the Justice card, well, this is the card of Manifestation. So is your person trying to manifest something? What are they itching to tell you? Yes, absolutely yes. They have all the tools and resources to literally do anything. 
And they want, what do they want? Well, they want balance to be restored. Justice, is, remember, it's all about the scales. Are they balanced? They need to show that balance here. Represented by Libra, Magician, Gemini, and Virgo energy. So is your person up to something? Yes, absolutely. They are definitely to something. But they. Are, what I'm feeling with the two major arcanas, yes, they are coming with really good intentions here. Absolutely. What else do we have? Let's have a look at the other cards. Two of Cups, the Moon, and also we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so what do we know about the Two of Cups? So Pisces, I am feeling that there is still love and romance. There's still attraction. Your person still has feelings for you, and I'm also going to say with confidence that you still have feelings with your person. However, though, the situation is causing a bit of nervous energy. It is causing a little bit of anxiety because of the unknown, fear of the unknown. I would definitely say when we do see the moon, don't take everything at face value because there's always something a little bit deeper. So do not be afraid to ask questions. Do not be afraid to rock the boat and seek your answers. And you also finish with the eight of pentacles. This is a really good working card, but when it comes to relationships, it means, yes, you are willing to put the work. You are willing to give this situation another chance, whatever it takes. So I know, Pisces, that you're coming with very, very good intentions, but let's get some answers. Let's find out more in regards to your person, please. So I'm going to use the Spellcaster's Tarot, and let's find out what else do we need to know in regards to this person, what they want. I feel also, Pisces, with this person, they felt a lot of balance with you. You brought out the best version of themselves, but... Is it a good idea to contact, to reach out this person? Let's find out. Let's go further into this reading. I we'll use the spellcasters to clarify this tarot reading now. What else does Pisces need to know, please, in regards to this tarot reading? What else does Pisces need to know, please, in regards to this tarot reading? Okay, split the deck. One, two, three. Mm. So we do have the Ace of Cups, the Magician. So you, your Magician wants new love, wants to manifest, propose new love. Well, we do have an action card, the Knight of Cups, known as the most romantic knight out of all knights. Think about the Knight of Cups as your knight in shining armor. Come to sweep you off your feet. Yeah, you will need to make a decision there, Pisces. Split the deck. What else do we have? Hierophant. Beautiful. This is a card of commitment. Yep, we also have the Ten of Wands. I do feel, yeah, there will be a bit of stress between the both of you, but you also have the star washing away the negativity, being hopeful still with the situation. The stress can also be from, is this a bad idea? Am I making the wrong decision? Am I falling behind again with the same pattern? I'm not feeling that you are, though, Pisces, but let's clarify. Seven of Wands, here we go. Now we have the King of Wands. So you've had to really stand up for yourself. You really had to, in other words, protect your goals and your dreams. And here is this person here, ruled by strong fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. This is someone that is ruled by passion. They take action. They're not afraid to go for it. Definitely, they do not procrastinate. However, though, it has been, I'm going to say, struggle, struggles here and there with this particular person, where there could have been a situation where this person didn't have your back enough, didn't stand up for you, or didn't protect the relationship enough. The devil? Hmm. So the eight of cups. Okay. So the eight of cups is walking away from a situation that no longer served you. So there may have been a situation, Pisces, where you walked away from this relationship. Why? It was just getting too much. There may have been manipulation, toxic energy, too many arguments. There was something of too much happening here. So what's happening here? 
You're going after your ninth cup, your own happiness, because this wasn't working out, unfortunately. It may have been tempting to stay, but in the end, you decided to leave. You decided to do what was best for you, Pisces. The Eight of Swords, also with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands has come out twice. It's here and also here. So I'm definitely going to say Pisces. Try not to pay too much attention to your ego, the id, where it's telling you awful things sometimes. Because again, it's a mental card. You're better than that. That's the card of victory. Sometimes you may even feel a little bit overwhelmed, but keep going. Keep fighting another day. Never compromise your values, your boundaries. What makes you so special is who you are, Pisces. So stand up for yourself. The Six of Swords also with the Justice card. So the Justice card has come out twice. It's here and also here. So there was an imbalance in the relationship. That's what's happening. This person was also, now I feel that you walked away first, Pisces, and this person, they're also walking away, but they do want that balance now. So when things are equal, now Justice can show there may have been because we know justice is is linked to legal. Um, it's a legal term. So there may have been a temporary separation, divorce even. I am picking more separation, not so much divorce. The magician, the hanged man. So this person is realizing that they need to do something in order to move forward. Because the hanged man, they're not moving forward nor backwards. They need to start looking at the situation from a different perspective. What can they do differently? They need to adapt, absolutely. They need to learn to adapt, to sacrifice, to change, to really get a good look at themselves and realize, okay, what am I doing wrong? How can I improve myself and also have a better life? So they definitely are manifesting that. They are slowly moving forward. The Justice card, also with the Three of Cups, beautiful. So this person is definitely entertaining on the idea of meeting up with you. I mean, they would be super happy, absolutely over the moon, if you were to agree to meet up with them again, to talk things through. They would celebrate in their own time. Yeah, they would actually celebrate because they actually miss you. They want that balance again in that relationship. The Two of Cups, also with the five of pentacles. See, even though there is a bit of a separation between the both of you, you still love each other with the two of cups. Because this is the card of separation. It's the card of rejection. And I feel that both of you kind of like feel left out in the cold. You feel like there's still that connection between the both of you. And even though there is distance, I feel like both of you still love each other, still want each other. The moon. Yeah, you're afraid. You're afraid of things falling apart. But you also have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is literally your ultimate dream life. Having it all, working together under the same roof, getting along, compromising. So I'm just going to say, Pisces, if there's still some feelings of uncertainty, remember what I said? Don't take everything at face value. There are things a lot deeper that need to be talked about, that need to be resurfaced out in the open to see, is there compromisation? Is there a way to get through things and literally go towards the Ten of Pentacles? I do believe yes, because time apart gave this person some really good time to think, to evaluate, to really understand, okay, I'm not going anywhere, so I need to do something. So remember, the moon is ruled by Pisces and Cancer. So I am feeling more towards you, Pisces, that you're feeling the uncertainty, which is fine. You can definitely go towards the Ten of Pentacles. And just like I said, it's all about talking about things that have been buried, resurfacing them, and dealing with them. The Eight of Pentacles, now we have the Death card. Excellent. So the Death card is Rebirth, your 2.0 version. So what I'm also seeing here, Pisces, yes, you're more than willing to work on this relationship to give it another chance, but at the same time, you want to do things a little bit differently. 
you want to handle things differently because death means death of a death of your old self you've shed your old skin and now you're resurrecting as your new self your 2.0 version so there will be changes absolutely there will be certain things that you are going to talk about what else do we have the three of swords you're leaving behind also the heartbreak which is excellent so yes you're going to be working on certain things that didn't work out there may be certain topics like the three of swords that need to be dealt with still but you will be moving beyond that which is excellent this was a learning experience for both of you with the page of pentacles it's a student card we all we all learn something from any experience that's our feedback and again yes these are small messages that can lead to face-to-face -face communication and you also end with temperance temperance is and this is a really good advice pisces moving forward do not be impulsive do things step by step because as you can see temperance dipping the feet in the water it's just about doing things slowly it's the angel of love and devotion and do i see this working out yes absolutely it will take work but it's not impossible this is fantastic here there's a lot of love here and I feel the love here is absolutely mutual. Absolutely. So like I said, do not be afraid to rock the boat. Talk about certain things that you're not willing to negotiate, that you're not no longer going to tolerate. And you will see in your person if they are open and willingly to also work things through. So overall, though, we still have some pretty great cards. We have some major arcanas here. And because we do have a couple of major arcanas, it does mean that your spirit team, your person's spirit team, are working in the background to make everything come together. But I do feel that your person had a lot to learn about life. They had to go through this and learn more about themselves and how to really manage a relationship. That's all it was. But I do see there is definitely some form of reconciliation. It's not impossible. And I do see your person. I'm feeling that they're going to celebrate knowing that if they can have you back. So this is still still a very, very good reading. Here we finish also with the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. This is showing really strong fire sign. It's showing very, very strong Sagittarius energy. So your person will take action because the King and the Queen of Wands are ruled by passion. They take action. They do not procrastinate. They go for it. When they feel sure, when they're absolutely sure about something, they go for it. Thank you so much, Pisces, for joining me. I wish you a beautiful day. Power to you, and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.